welcome to shivakumar classes today the topic which we are going to discuss here it is problems on calculation of interest on drawings under average period method for class 12 the chapter of this it is accounting for partnership yes already in this accounting for partnership chapters the explanation has been covered on profit and loss appropriation account next one is the calculation of interest on drawings under product method product method and <coughs> and minimum guarantee method has been minimum guarantee method has been completed today i am going to explain you the problems on average period method what is the difference between the product method and the average period method under product method we will apply the formula is that interest on drawings is equals total product into rate of interest into 1 by 12 why we apply this formula because the drawings are made it it into the different date with a different amount but in case of this average period method there should be a condition first one is that same amount of the money same amount of the money should be there and second one is the same time gap should be there same time gap should be there that is the most important for example if you draw the money on first of every month first of every month next month also it should be on the same date of the month and with the same amount and with the same amount that is most important date must be same and the amount must be same under that situation we will go for calculating the problems that is interest on average period method we have a formula for that one so in case if the amount is drawn on first of every month and if the amount is drawn on 15th of every month and if the amount is drawn at the end of every month now what is the condition here it is i'll show here it is for first of every month next one is the 15th of every month and third one is the 30th of every month right 30th of every month now what is the simple logic to calculate the month year it is that longest month longest month plus shortest month whole divided by 12 if the drawings are made on first of every month means that longest month they need to pay the interest for 12 months because including the month of drawing also will come in case if the drawings is made on first of every month plus the lowest month or the shortest month is the one month interest will come so therefore 12 plus 1 divided by 2 is equals 13 this 13 divided by therefore 13 divided by 2 is equals 6.5 second one 
in case if the drawing is made on 15th of every month means that the longest month we are going to pay the interest for 11 for 5 months and the shortest month we are going to pay interest for 0 0.5 months divided by 2 is equals 12 divided by 2 is equals 6 and if the drawing is made on 30th of every month already one month is over therefore the longest month we are going to pay the 11 month interest and the shortest month is 30th means year is over month is over therefore 0 divided by 2 is equals 11 divided by 2 is equals 5.5 this is called as the average of the month. We are going to apply this concept only it is into the problem. Let us see the problem number 1. Yes. Yes. Before going to do the problem, let us have a glance of formula. If the drawings are made on first of every month, as we calculated already 6.5 in the average how this 6.5 has arrived, the formula here it is that total drawings into rate of interest into 6.5 divided by 12. Please be careful, under product method, we have total product. Under average period method, we have total drawings. So, coming to if the drawings are made on 15th of every month, the formula is total drawings into rate of interest into 6 by 12. The 6, how it has come already, I explained you. And the third one is the if the drawings are made on 30th. The formula is total drawings into rate of interest into 5.5 divided by 12. This 5.5 I have been explained already. Now, let us do the problem. There are three partners. Mr. Arun, Varun and Tarun are partners. Their drawings are as follows. Mr. Arun with you rupees. 3000 regularly on 1st of every month. 1st of every month. Second one is Mr. Tarun withdrew rupees 4000 regularly on 15th of every month. And the third one is Mr. Tarun withdrew rupees 2500 regularly on 30th of every month they given the word regularly 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 means continuously so there are three partners their drawings are it is given mr arun with rupees 3000 per month next one is the varun with rupees 4000 per month and tarun with rupees 2500 per month now what we need to do and this amount is for one month but regularly means that this has to be multiplied by 12 months and lastly you see calculate interest on drawing set 10 percent per annum under average period method so what we do to make the problem it is very simple <coughs> Calculation of total drawings. First one is Arun is equals 3000 into 12 is equals 36,000. Varun is equals Varun is equals 4000 into 12 is equals 48,000. And Tarun is equals 2500 into 12 is equals 30,000. This is the amount of total drawings. Now let us work it out that problem. Now for Mr. Arun, formula is 
interest on drawings is equals total drawings total drawings into rate of interest into 6.5 divided by 12 yes the total drawings here it is 36000 into rate of interest is 10 by 100 into 6.5 divided by 12 6.5 divided by 12 so 36000 into 10 divided by 100 into 6.5 divided by 12 is equals 1950 is the answer 1950 that is for the first person and coming to mr varun the formula here it is interest on drawings is equals total drawings into rate of interest into 6 divided by 12 for him the total drawings we got it is 48000 into 10 divided by 100 into 6 divided by 12 so therefore the calculation is 48000 into 10 divided by 100 into 6 divided by 12 is equals 2400 the interest payable by him it is 2400 and the third one is for mr and third one is for mr tarun again once again formula interest on drawings is equals total drawings into rate of interest into 5.5 divided by 12 why this is keep on reduces because for first person it is the first of every month second person it is 15th of every month and third person it is the 30th of every month so therefore the calculation it is that the total drawings made by him it is 30000 into 10 by 100 into 5.5 divided by 12 so therefore 30000 into 10 divided by 100 into 5.5 divided by 12 is equals 1375 1375 yes this is the interest on calculation under average period method yes in case of any doubt please send through the comment box i'll reply for your doubt thank you very much for the video please subscribe my channel for further notification and don't forget to press the bell icon button thank you very much